Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Model School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade English week number 12 and day number two lesson of the curriculum. And the content may be found on page number 74 of your workbook. So if you've got your workbook over there, please turn to page number 74. If not, you're welcome just to watch the board with me. The content's going to pop in front of you as well. Now, today in our grammar lesson, we're going to be learning a few more rules about the use of commas, okay? So we've been talking about, well, punctuation marks. They're going to have rules around them, how to use them. Well, we talked about a couple of rules already. We are going to be adding additional rules to our memory banks today by the grace of God. All right, so let's let's watch with me on the board. All right, you're going to watch with me on the board right now. We're going to see additional rules concerning how to use a comma. What's a comma again? A comma is a punctuation mark that you use to indicate a temporary pause in a sentence, right? So it means that there are going to be permanent pauses in sentences, correct? Well, those permanent pauses are going to be indicated by periods. Okay, you can see period over there. Well, that's a permanent pause. But what about if I don't want to pause forever, so to say, I just want to have a temporary pause. We use commas. Well, in what situation are we going to be using commas again? Well, let's look at rule number 14. All right, rule number 14. So rule number 14 says use a comma to separate a statement from a question. All right, so let's take this example. They are coming, comma, do you agree, question mark, all right? So that's the way you can use a comma over there. Well, you have they are coming. Well, that's a complete sen sentence. But when you want to lump this sentence together with another inquisitive sentence, you want to put a comma over here, okay? All right, so what about rule number 15? All right, rule number 15, it's, it says use a comma to separate opposite parts of a sentence, all right? So you can say, for example, my body is mine, not theirs. <laughs> okay. My body is mine, not theirs. Okay. Use a comma to separate the different parts or the opposite parts of a sentence. All right. What about this, the statement over here? I did it. By God's grace, comma, not by my powers, okay? Full stop. So I want to tell somebody, well, this is completely opposite of what I can do. It's by the grace of God, not by my powers. Well, that's a way to use commas as well over there. So a couple of more rules for you. Use commas to separate a statement from an inquisitive statement. Use commas to separate the opposite parts of sentences over there. All right, if you get something from it, please go ahead and turn to page number 74. You are going to see additional information over there to help you to retain this content a little bit better. All right. I want to thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 